Hello. Hello. Oh yeah, am, am I through to the um, Islamic Community Centre, Al Beer? Yes, yes, it is. Oh great, thank you. Um, yes. I watched a documentary about the Hajj, and I was a bit puzzled. Has, yes. I was a bit puzzled about a couple of things. I don't know if it's possible to help. Um. Yes, of course. So you have some questions you'd like to ask? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, if you could please uh, email us those questions. Uh, and no. we will answer them. No, no. I, I, you've got my telephone number. Has my telephone number come up? Um, e, uh, no, can you please say it again? <laughs> yeah, I'll give you my telephone yeah. number and my okay. name. Oh, uh, I'm, um, I'm not prepared to just keep on ringing on the hope of getting uh, through to somebody. I, yeah, I don't so have the time you, for that. You prefer discussing this over the phone? Yes, I'm not prepared to email. I won't even read uh, them. Uh, my name is oh, Robert, and Robert, my okay. and my yeah. telephone number is O. Thank you. Okay, and um, if, yeah. if I could just ask one question that was bothering yeah. me. I yeah. saw some documentaries on the Hajj and I was quite surprised how much stones were involved in the Hajj. I mean, you... How, how sorry, how much, what? Uh, how stones are involved in oh, the Hajj. Yes, yes good. You circle the black stone, you circumambulate the black stone anti-clockwise yeah. seven times. Yes. You run between the hills, well, little stones, they're not really, they're big stones, about 20 feet tall, Mara yes, and hills. Safa. Yes, hills, yeah, two hills, yes. And then at, on the plain of Minna, um, yes. it used to be one pillar, then it became three pillars, and now it's three huge walls where people yes. throw stones symbolically at the devil. I was quite surprised at the emphasis on stones on the Hajj. <laughs> Do you think that comes from pre-Islamic yes. sources? Um, yes, so all what you have said is authentic in Islam, and all what you have said uh, has uh, there is well established evidence for it in Islam. Uh, there is only one thing you mentioned. You mentioned that it was one in at Mina, it was one pillar only, and now it became three pillars. Well, the pillars uh, are not meant uh, by you know uh, to be thrown, uh, but it's just like. Um, uh, like a symbol, or, or um, it's only like to, to show the place where we should uh, throw stones. Uh, it's a symbolic rejection of the devil. Yes, a symbolic, yes, yes, yes. a symbolic rejection to the devil, yes, exactly. Yes. But from the very beginning, it, it was uh, in three positions. Maybe, maybe, I, I'm not sure about this as well, maybe with regard to uh, building the uh, pillars, yeah, it was one pillar before, but the uh, throwing the stones from the very past was uh, in three positions, as it is now. Um, it, it was originally one pillar until 1979. And yeah, then so maybe this is a, a, like, you know, a constructional thing, but throwing the stones in, in three positions is, uh, you know, uh, something that is authentic in our religion and is known uh, for Muslims from the mm -hmm. very past, before having the, the pillars. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, do you, it, it was one pillar until 1979, they pulled okay. it down and made three much larger pillars in 1980, and they yeah. were pulled down in 2004 and became three huge massive walls. Um, yes, they do this to, to just, uh, you know, to accommodate all the people, yes. so that all people can throw to the stones. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yeah. yes, because you've got millions of people going on the yeah. Hajj now, not yeah. merely thousands. Um, yeah. Do you think that this could all have a pre-Islamic root? I mean, I've seen I've seen pictures of people trying to kiss the black stone. There's there's um, one famous picture yes. of Muhammad Ali approaching the black stone, and I think he Good. tried to uh, kiss it, 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 it or he uh, kissed we it. We say this is a sunnah, so it, it is something that uh, our Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, uh, did, and uh, so whatever our Prophet do uh, or does is something that we are encouraged in Islam to do and we get rewarded by doing. It's not essential in Hajj to kiss the black stone, but still it is something that if you do, you get rewarded for copying mm -hmm. the, the way of the Prophet uh, Muhammad. Uh, so, of course, kissing the black stone is again uh, symbolic, uh, like it's not, you know, uh, the stone does not uh, benefit us <laughs> of anything and does not, of course, as we believe in Islam, the stone has um, 
can't, uh, you know, uh, uh, like harm or benefit us in any ways. Uh, but we just kiss it as a way of um, copying the Prophet. And why the Prophet kissed it? Because it is believed in Islam that, uh, as the Prophet said, this stone is coming from paradise. So it is originally from paradise. Uh, you know, the place where, as we believe, uh, the righteous people will, uh, you know, uh, uh, which be hadith, uh, in the hereafter. Yes, yes which yes. hadith says that? That the black stone... Which hadith says yes. the black stone comes from paradise. I thought you uh, taught that the black stone can remove people's sins. That's why it's turned black, because it's yes. removed people's uh, sins. Actually, I don't have the reference. <laughs> right. I don't have the reference for the hadith now, and that's why, if, if, if possible, if it is possible that you email us... With no, 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 I'm not uh, emailing... Sorry, sir, I'm not emailing anyone. I made that very clear. I'm happy yes. to talk to someone. I left my telephone number with you. Someone can contact me. I'm not going to all the trouble of emailing and then getting copy and paste back thousands of pages of copy and paste every day. I'm not doing that. I'm happy to talk to people face, face, face to face, as I made very, very clear at the start when I gave you my, my, my phone number. Um, when, I was a young, when I was a young child... Could I, could I speak? No, no, no. Wait. Could I speak? No, no, no. <laughs> I'll speak first, please. Uh, so, uh, uh, um, as you are not willing to email us, and as you are seeing, uh, like, um, phoning us will be better, so we will phone you. Yeah. Uh, as you mentioned, you left your phone number. Thank you for this. Yes. But uh, let us arrange uh, for an appointment. I'm not the imam. I'm yes. not the minister of religion in this mosque. Yeah. So, uh, if you please... Um, I'm not sure uh, how would you like to do this, but just t- just us, could I could I tell you? Your concern, could I tell you? Your concerns, sorry, sorry. Could I tell you? Before discussing your concerns, uh, actually, it's better if you have an appointment, a phone appointment first, so you'll arrange this over the phone as well with the imam himself, not with me, and then uh, in the appointment you will discuss everything with the imam. Right. Um, thank you. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. You, you said so much, I forgot what I was going to say. Um, yes, when I was a young child, I was brought up a nominal Roman Catholic because my father was Anglican, my mother was Catholic. Now, I remember going to the monastery of Montserrat, which is just outside of Barcelona, where there was a, a statue, a stone statue of the Black Madonna of Montserrat. And all the little children went to kiss the feet of this idol, of this Madonna of Montserrat. Uh, I wasn't allowed to because I think I was uh, eight or nine and you had to be seven or below. You you had to be innocent in order to touch, to to let your lips Mm. touch the the feet of the Black Madonna. Now, today I would look back on that and see that as an act of idolatry. Would you agree? Um, what do you concern as an act of idolatry? Would you... Kissing the thing or or just having it and worshipping it? Do you believe that going up to a statue of the Virgin Mary in the monastery of Montserrat outside Barcelona in Spain and kissing the feet of this stone idol, do you believe that's idolatry? I do. Yeah, we believe that worshipping... Um, an, an idol, <laughs> yeah. or even, or even associate, saying, claiming that uh, by submitting to an idol, you are getting closer to the real God. So whether this or that, we believe this is idolatry, or we call it uh, shirk. Which shirk, means yes, ad- yes, adding partners to God. Partners with, with God. Yeah, adding. I yeah, just but, said that but, shirk okay, is adding okay, partners sorry, to God. Sorry yeah. for that. Sorry for that. Yeah. Uh, it, it's better to have an appointment and discuss everything. Yeah. Not okay. Now. Discuss everything with the imam, please. Okay. All right. I'll leave it with you. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. So Bye-bye. much. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye.